pray is to invite God in. God's a gentleman. He's not going to invade your life. You're going to have to let him in. The Bible says it like this. In Revelation 3.20, it says, look, I stand at the door and I knock. If you hear my voice and open the door, I will come in and we will share a meal together as friends. What we want God to do is be like, boom, I am the Holy One of Israel here to clean and change everything in your life. Hey, it's me. Hey, I was wondering today, could I, could I come into your house and clean up some stuff and help you? Oh, no, 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 you're too busy? Oh, you got a new boyfriend? Okay, cool, I'll be back tomorrow. Hey, yes, yeah, me again. J just wanted to see today, I, I heard some whimpering, some crying, some things that aren't settled in your life. Hey, I, I could come in and, and help you. You know, I have things that aren't fixed yet. <laughs> That's why I'm here. Because I'm, I'm a carpenter. <laughs> I rebuild things, rebuild lives. As a matter of fact, I come with the cleaning clue called the Holy Spirit. And, and we'll come in and you don't even have to worry. You, all, all you have to do is let us in. And God is standing at the door of your life every day. And he's knocking and he's knocking and he's knocking. And he's saying, when you pray, you invite him in. So when you pray about your family, about your school, about what college you're supposed to go to, you're not just going to a college because all your friends are going there. That may be the very worst place that you could be. But when you say, God, I need your direction. I need you to help me. I need you to give me peace about where I'm supposed to go. What you're doing is you're inviting God in. How many of you know and understand that pain has a purpose? See, pain has a sneaky way of pushing us back to the feet of Jesus. Pain has a sneaky way of pushing us back into the presence of God. Pain creates a resilience in us that can only come through struggle. Because struggle is the proof that you have not been overtaken by your enemy. Struggle is the proof that the enemy is not bigger than your God. Because the fact that you are still struggling and, and the fact that you're still fighting is an indicator that there's something more after this. Who is on your boat who's weighing you down? Everybody's not going to the deep with you. And you will delay your destination trying to bring a committee to what God called you to. Do you know where I would be right now if I waited for everybody that I thought was supposed to be with me to come with me on this journey? Do you know how many people would still be wandering and drifting if I needed the cosign of everybody else when I already had the cosign of heaven? Your boat is not built for everybody. And the most spiritual thing that you may do this year is delete them. I'm not talking about if you see them out, you don't, you don't say hello and be cordial. If you are distracted, you cannot reach your destiny in adequate time. Leave the crowd behind.